Okay, so today we're going to do a battery replacement on this uh, nice fossil watch here. We're going to use the Quick Fixer kit. That's the slightly more basic uh, toolkit available. Perfectly adequate for what we need it for today. Worth just taking a moment to look at the workstation here. We've got a cloth or a towel down on the surface. That's good for not just um, avoiding scratches to, to watches and the table surface, but also it avoids parts and pieces and batteries bouncing around should you, should you drop it by mistake. A couple of other handy little components are uh, a little dish. Ice cube tray is ideal because you've got lots of compartments and that way you can just put small parts in and make sure that you don't lose them. And also a wooden non-conductive in this case it's just a kebab skewer and I can poke about and touch things knowing that I'm not disturbing any of the electrics in the watch. So those are handy items to have. So the patient in question, I've already used the strap tool and uh, the link removal tool here to snap open the, uh, the bracelet and that just allows us to access the back so much easier than having the, uh, the strap constantly getting in the way. Now when I first started repairing watches I didn't really rate these items basically it's a miniature vice that holds the case so it's a watch case holder um, but increasingly so I, I see the importance of these and the use of these. You can see here there's an indent well there's an indent on both sides so you can uh, protect the crown if yours does have a second and a third button, such as this one, don't worry, you can still get a, a perfectly adequate uh, grip on the case there. So I'll tighten that up. And that's not going anywhere. That's locked into place. So, at this point, it's time to get familiar with the case wrench. This is a two-point case wrench. And the first thing that we need to make sure of is that this very top tooth is, is tightly done up. We don't want that um, slipping and sliding around or becoming loose. And then you need to locate that top one in one of the notches on the back of the case and slide the second mobile one into position making sure that it's as snugly located as possible. So while it's in that position tighten down that brass screw as tight as you can and even then it's best just to take it off the watch and see if you can tighten it some more slipped a bit there so I'll just do that again always worth just taking those extra few moments at this stage uh, to make sure everything's tight and good. These are not tools that you typically use day to day so a lot of people can feel a little bit uh, flummoxed when it comes to, to using them. Just takes a bit of practice and a bit of, um, bit of respect, just a bit of care. Um, yeah, just get to know your tools. So once we've got this case wrench set at the right diameter for the case and the watch is in the watch case holder, then it's a case of simply applying counterclockwise pressure to that case until it comes loose. And the real trick with this is to keep everything that you're doing in the flat horizontal plane. Keep everything moving in that direction. Keep this flat. Keep the handle even of the wrench absolutely flat. That just avoids things popping out and scratches occurring. So I'm holding it in position there, hope you can see, and then gently applying increasing amounts of pressure in that counterclockwise direction until things start to give way. Like so. There we go, nice and easy from that point. So once we've cracked the seal there, we can just use finger pressure just to finish the job off and remove the case. Voila. So 
So we can see all the inside of the watch here. If you wanted to take out the movement, you'd have to release the stem uh, up to the crown first, otherwise you'll bend the stem. But we're going to leave that in situ right now. Obviously there's the battery. We can see that's held in place by the little tiny uh, metal clip there. The metal clip does form the one side of the contacts, so just be careful with that. But you can see it's just a sim simple case of pushing it out and then just pushing it back in. So once you've replaced your battery, make sure that it's in the best position possible given the situation provided. There we go. And then it's a case of popping the case back on, which is very simple. Just drop that into position. Start to tighten it clockwise using finger pressure. There we go. And do as much as you can. Go as far as you can with finger pressure. And then bring back the case wrench. Locate both teeth. And depending on which feels more uh, more natural, you can either twist the case wrench clockwise or even twist the uh, case holder anti-clockwise. Either way, just make sure that you're pressing down in the centre and that you're holding things firmly. There we go. So always remember that that's a waterproof seal as long as your gasket is in place and is in good condition then that will provide a waterproof seal so make sure that you really finish that off and nip it tightly shut. Then uh, I guess if I was a surgeon I'd be asking for the operating nurse right now to close up and finish off because we're pretty much done there it's just a case of releasing the watch from the clamp and then just reattaching the the link back through there. So for this I'd probably use the watch band holder and the hammer and pin punch. I won't go through that now but um, again just tapping that down and, uh, and making sure that that's in place. So there we go, new battery in the fossil.